A uh, raft. So, you building a raft? Yeah, Lina seems to be planning some kind of boat trip. Talking about a long river and some big tree. Hmm. And I've got nothing else to do. So I figured I'd slap these two pontoons together to build something large enough to carry all three of us. It's turning out pretty sweet, don't you think? Yeah. It's gorgeous. <laughs> All right, you do that. Um, anything else? There's jungle and the wreck. So I guess this is it for our airplane. Goodbye, airplane. It sure did take us far, though. I just hope someone has a plan for the trip home. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's making a raft, so that's something. Uh, jungle. I'd love to go exploring, but man, that jungle is thick. That is what you have a machete for. Chop it up. Do I have to... Whoa, okay. Chopping it myself. Hey, check it out, Kito. A path. Whoa, mystic. You go and explore You bet I am. You bet, man. Yeah. Runes. I have no idea what all these funny symbols mean. I bet Count Dodo could read them. He was real smart with those kinds of things. Okay. Hey, Buana, do you think we're going to find Konododo down here? Somewhere in the Underland, I mean. I hope of so. Of course we are. <laughs> I think so too, Mon. All right, good. I hope they're right. Let's go. Let's see what's here. There's a pillar, a stone head. Okay. I think this guy has squirrels living in his nose. Cool. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't sound very comfortable. What do I still have left? Okay, I took away my bolt cutters. Why do I still have this book? Huh. There were some, like, symbols and navigational things in there, so maybe that'll come in handy later. What's this pillar? This door looks pretty solid. Hey, maybe I can... What? Oh, okay. Um, what kind of design are we making, though? Huh. Uh. How am I going to know which one to do? Is there any indication somewhere? Okay, that's like a bunch of circles. Go back down and look at those runes. Yeah, that doesn't look anything like what we've got up there. Huh. Well. Okay, maybe let's go look at the doodles again. Maybe the doodles have something useful. Doodles, are you useful? Yes, the doodles are useful. Okay, so we've got the circles, the little dashy lines. Um some wavy stuff, and then those. Okay, cool. So we've already got two properly aligned. We just need to do the middle ones. Alright, up we go. Alright, that one is fine. So we need to switch this back to how it was originally. Nope, we want the original one. Not that. This. Okay, now this needs to get flipped twice. And there we go. Wow. Yeah! All right, go inside. What have we got here? Man, what is this place? Crazy stuff. A button. Hmm. Nothing happened. Okay. There's a bunch of symbols on the wall. Um. Let's try going over here. What is this? Observatory. What am I looking at? Oh, I guess we need to align it to the proper thing. Hmm. What does the button do? It moves it. Okay. Where do we want to look, though? What do these symbols mean? I guess I could just try all of them, but that seems silly. trying to figure out what the pattern is here. Oh, it's going further up. Uh-huh. So let's try pointing it. 
Maybe, what's that do? Okay, we're just looking at the sky. Oh, why is it just going back? Oh, moon. The observatory is aimed right at the moon. Okay. Um. Let's leave it at that because it's the only thing that actually makes sense. Now what's this? Runes. Hmm. What am I doing with this moon? Okay, so which symbol is the moon over here? That one. Okay, so we can at least set the moon. Let's set the moon. So that is going to go over here. Just circle all the way around. Alright, there goes the moon. Swirl and star. Figure out swirl or star. Okay, let's look at these things over here. No, that's not helpful. Hmm. Does this have any info? Yeah, open it. Um, that's not useful. That's not useful. Oh, hello! That's useful. Um, path of the star, but what time is it? Oh, there's a clock down there. Oh, and these are all... Okay, I understand. So we need to go see what time it is. What time is it? Please go. How are you going to figure out the star, though? Or, I mean, the, the other one. The swirl. Maybe those will come in handy? There's something over here. Okay, let's look at the table again. Hmm. Any of this useful? What does that mean? Whatever. What's the time on the clock? It's 10 a.m. now, according to the clock. Okay. Can't remember the last time I was up this early. All right, it's 10. So. According to our book, we'll get up there and check what time that should be. It's 10. Then, let's see the book. What time, or what symbol do we use for 10? Path of the wave. Okay. Let's see, so we want to put the star for the wave, like that. Now it's just the swirl. What do I do with the swirl? Have we even seen a swirl anywhere? Hmm. I don't see one on here. I doubt we'll be able to see any... Wait, what is... This is the swirl. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. What does this button do? Does it do anything yet? Did it just indent that? Yeah, it did. Okay. Is it the leaf then? Because that has a swirl on it. Um. Oh, wait. I had it on the leaf. <laughs> okay, let's spin it around again. Okay, now what? Does it just do things? Maybe it's, it's my moon wrong? Let's see. No, that's right. Um, maybe we just go down and fiddle with the thing? Or what? Can I open the gate yet? I have a feeling this can't be done yet. 
I feel like that would have done something. Let's see, Lena, any luck? How's it going? Still haven't really figured it out. All right. There must be something missing here. Everything should be aligned just right, and it's still not opening. Oh, I see. Okay, bye bye. Okay. It looks like there's a piece the missing here. Hmm. Look at the figure again, can you? Hmm. There's a figure carved out from the rock here. I wonder what it means. All right. Well, head over there. Huh. Let's see. Did I miss a hot spot on this thing, maybe? Is any of this clickable? Maybe undo that. Hmm. Okay, try these again. Oops. Uh. I'm at a loss. What am I missing here? Um, does this have any more hints? Let's see. Hmm. That's not useful. That's not useful. Path of the star. Okay, there's a Whirl with a monkey. Star with a giraffe. There's a moon with the snake. And nobody likes the elephant. What does this mean, though? I don't understand. Okay. We're done with that. Mm -hmm. Is there something else I can press? No. Oh man, those birds really need to shut up. They screech rather terribly. Maybe, um. Smash open the stone head. Man, that's not gonna work. Okay, we're not gonna wreck this squirrel home, I guess. <sighs> what did the runes say? Can we look at I them? I have no idea what. No. I bet Kaunan. Okay. Okay. Buona. Do you think Yeah, yeah, okay. I know. Let's go look at the book again. I'm confused. Why is this not doing things that are useful? Hmm. Yeah, see it's saying that I'm missing the thing. But I don't know. What are the what does the rest of this mean? No sense. Hmm. All right. Did I maybe mess up the path of the star or something? 10 a.m. Yeah, so it should be wave. Okay. missing here All right how do these is there some interaction between those two devices I'm confused I am confused. See now the leaf is depressed. <laughs> yes, it's a very sad leaf. Um Well let's see, maybe Can I move the swirl somewhere else? Let's put it here maybe. If I do that, is it gonna So that, the swirl actually changes what 
runes. It presses in the door. Do I need to get them all? Maybe. Let's try that. Or maybe I just need to have it depress the the three that are relating to the actual answer. Well, let's try all of them first and see if that does anything. And then I will try my second theory. Oh, but we don't know what symbol... It hey, that did something! Okay. Uh... Good. We got the thing. Hey, what's this? All right, excellent. I guess the squirrel, the squirrel didn't actually matter what it was set on. It was just to set those. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go open that gate. Open the gate. Do it. Impress Lena. Yeah. Hey, what's happening? It's opening. Oh dear. That is one big gate. Yeah, I did. Man, he made that really fast. All right. Looks like we're locked in. Now what? Book was right. Hanandodo was right. The Underland is real. Oh, that's so cool. Gentlemen, I present to you the Underland. Excellent. Looks like Lion King. Oh, okay. So I guess we get to wait until chapter three. <laughs> Alrighty. Ah, oh, shoot. We're gonna have to wait to find out what happens. Oh well. <laughs> Catchy. I don't really want to talk because I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> I guess that's chapter two. Let's see if we get more concept art this time. That'll be cool. I hope so. Oh, 
Oh right, now we get the really long list of flavors. <laughs> and lots of free sound project stuff. Yep. I remember this. All those people. Hooray! Well, that was excellent yet again. Now what? Oh yes, we do get behind the scenes. I'm excited. Let's see. A fraction of the architecture sketches we did for the Afro Noir city of Port Archu. Nice. Okay. What's next? In the original script, Buana was the hard-boiled lead. We quickly realized that this didn't fly with his mentality, and thus Barlow was born. Oh, that's neat! So Waffle Iron was originally supposed to be the lead? Wow, that's cool. Morton was one of the first characters to be designed for the Journey Down 2, and was one of the few to make it all the way from the first script to the final design. Because he's awesome. Recognize the shape of that face? If you're a true point-and-click nerd, you should. <laughs> uh, a bunch of bystander sketches. Nice. Enola's House of Butterflies, a playable area in the very early version of the game. Oh, I wish we had been able to go there. That would have been cool. In a previous horrendously stupid layout of Port Archu, there are multiple ways of getting to places in the city. Early test results had us throw it out. Oh. Yeah, I can see how that would be a problem. What Club Temba looks like inside, in case anyone's curious. Pretty snazzy. First version of Port Archu's main street. This was before Club Temba even was thought of. Before the mayor's office and Andy became a part of the script, there used to be a library in Port Archu. Not sure what for, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Before Club Temba became a big posh joint on the main street, it was a back alley thing, too, similar to, and to Arnie's. Okay. Viewport shot of the Susulu Copter docking sequence from Lightwave 8. Nice. That ship was really cool. Theo teaching Simon how to use a saxophone the day before the Journey Down gig in Brighton. Nice. After the launch of the Journey Down 1, we packed our stuff and left the office. <laughs> they seem to be very excited about that. And went to GDC and E3 and blew all our money and travels and fun. Excellent. That's what I would have done too. So we wound up developing the rest of the Journey Down 2 from bars, cafes, and trailers. <laughs> As Simon's health deteriorated, we reco he recommended us to hire his friend Jamie to take the responsibility of finalizing the Journey Down 2 soundtrack. Oh, that's sad. We immediately fell in love with Jamie's music and found his bombastic orchestral style to be the perfect complement to Simon's jazz. Journey Down 2 also uses a few tracks from Simon's last album, Navigation, including the music you're listening to right now. That's so sad. Album is 100% charity. Money is shared between Brain Tumor Trust, St. Peter and St. James Hospice and Scope, uh, the charity for people with disabilities. Well, I know what I'll be buying. Simon passed away on May 19, 2014. That's so sad. Rest in peace. Aw, oh, now I'm sad. Aww. Okay, well, I'm going to go buy that album now. <laughs> When chapter 3 comes out, oh, hello, there's actually, is this like a little preview? Third and final chapter of the journey down, the final one, is currently in development and will take you on a sweeping journey through jungles, caves, murky swamps, uh, and back up topsize to explore the fate of old friends and to finally find the truth. Excellent. That lies hidden somewhere in the noisy chaos that makes up the bustling metropolis of St. Armando. All right, well, I'm excited for that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and when Chapter 3 comes out, I will be sure to play that as well. So, until then, goodbye, everyone.